Pardon me. I went to bed a little bit too early. You know what that means. I get up real early. Go to bed too early. I went to bed too early. The cat woke me up. He's mad at me. I, I just changed his box. He's got um, food and water. He should be fine. He's all crying at me and shit. <sighs> Mom. It's because he gave him wet food. <laughs> He's like. I'm going to be giving him wet food all the time now. Not going to. Um, so I have, I've been getting trolls on my um, YouTube channel again. Because I did that, I covered that story of uh, the man who got 30 rounds shot into him in Huntington Beach yesterday, right? And H, uh, Huntington Beach PD, uh, I guess is that they, they really want you to know that it was not a black person. Um, so TMZ has updated their story to person of color. I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't know what the nationality, what the, the person apparently looked tan enough or had, you know, <laughs> dark enough. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I'll tell you straight up, like these, uh, these folks, they've got fucking trolls. They've got trolls, dude. And um, apparently they're monitoring some of our social media. I only have 75 uh, subscribers on YouTube, you guys. I um, I don't know. I think I have somewhere around like 1,200 followers on Twitter. Not, not, It's not huge. I don't have a huge Twitter following. Um, I do have a larger Facebook following, right? Um, but it seems pretty fucking straight up that people are monitoring my social media. And they get really upset if I cover specific topics. And when I cover specific to topics, I get trolls. On, um, what are you even... My cat is behaving so fucking bizarre right now. It's behaving very bizarre right now. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him. But, um, okay. So, so when I cover a hot topic that looks bad for, like, right-leaning folks, the GOP, the right-leaning folks, I get trolled. When I cover topics that looks bad for the People's Party, I get trolls. Um... There's a common thread there. There's a common fucking thread there. When I cover topics that look bad for the Progressive Caucus, I get trolls. They all troll in exactly the same way. I, I don't think that's a coincidence. I don't think that's a fucking coincidence. Um, yeah, I'm up in the middle of the fucking night because I went to bed too early and I'm old now. Right, I'm, I'm old and I end up waking up too early. Um, so I'm gonna have to take a nap today because I got up way the fuck too early. Um, okay, so I don't know if this man, if the man survived or not. I don't know if he's dead or if he survived because TMZ has like been updating the story to now they're saying it's a person of color. Well, I don't know what that means. The, the fact is that it was Huntington Beach. They put 30 rounds into a dude um, right there on the boardwalk. 30 fucking rounds. I mean, like I said, does that change Does that change my commentary? Does that really fucking change my commentary? That uh, your police department still needs to have, like, actual de-escalation processes? And not fucking put 30 rounds in? I mean, like, what if any one of those, first of all, you shouldn't be doing that to anybody. And, you know, gun ownership is legal in America. So just because somebody has a weapon on them does not necessarily mean they're a threat. So we need more details around, like, why you thought he was a threat. And why you felt that the appropriate response was 30 fucking rounds. Like, if you do 30 rounds, you were intending to kill. That is <laughs> it's your intention. You don't put 30 bullets into somebody without 
intending to fucking kill them. You don't put 30 rounds into somebody unless you intend to kill them. Um, and you did this in a public, like, right the fuck on the beach. And honey, I, for anybody who's been to Huntington Beach, there's tons of people, especially on a Saturday. Are you kidding me? It's it's very, very busy. Especially because Huntington Beach draws in so many anti-maskers that, like, everybody, they all congregate there together. Like, there is some space. We've got we've gone up to um, do, like, um, campfire and stuff. Because it is a very large beach. So you there is enough space that you don't have to be like near people and risking getting COVID but it is still it, a lot of people go there it's like a ton of people You're th firing 30 fucking rounds into a dude right there on the boardwalk what if even just one of those bullets hit somebody else what if even just one of them did Because they travel far. They travel far. You don't hit your target. It's going to go and, you know, go further and go somewhere else. Right? I don't want to do this whole what if bullshit, though. I think it's bad enough that you just fucking unloaded 30 rounds into a dude right there on the beach. That's insane. Insane. And no, I don't know what the nationality or ethnicity of this person was. It was, it, the initial report was that it was a black man. And now they're saying it's, the person was not black. They were a person of color. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. And the fact that I have, I immediately had a troll on my wall saying, well, it wasn't a person, it wasn't a black person. And the person had a weapon. I'm sorry, does that justify the situation? That justifies putting 30 rounds into a person on the boardwalk in the middle of hunting to be like, I mean, really? <laughs> it's like, that makes it okay? <laughs> it's like, oh. I suppose Huntington Beach thinks that, you know, it's it's not as bad if it's not a black person. Well, I, well, I mean, why would you do that to anybody? <laughs> why would you do that to anybody? It's so fucking crazy. Um, it's still, to my mind, looks like government overreach. It looks like, um, it, that we have bully problems in law enforcement. <laughs> it looks like we're not using rational thinking. I mean, <laughs> I, um, I don't see how a dude walking along the beach... Okay, so so but let's 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 think this through logically, right? Let's think this through logically. So this person is on the beach. They're not they're not on the business side of the street where having a weapon they would be potentially maybe like trying to rob somebody or whatever. They're on the beach uh side. H Huntington Beach PD claims they had this person had a weapon on the beach side where it's big like I just described I just described this to you it's it's huge right um there's lots of space lots of it's not easy to run in the sand it's not freaking easy to run in the sand but um the person was apparently on the boardwalk so you could probably like if you're gonna run you could be on the boardwalk but you're also not like police you're not supposed to be shooting people in the back if they're trying to run away um i would like to know more about the circumstances of what the fuck happened because um 30 fucking rounds oh my god And as soon as I cover this topic, I have a troll. I have basically what's a GOP troll on my YouTube channel defending their actions. Um, this is another, by the way, like in parallel here. This is another reason why the progressive, the people in charge of the progressive caucus need to fucking step down. We need to start over because uh, this whole sort of trolling smearing um just 
this is not how things should go. Like, we should not be letting people rise up into positions where they're going to just fucking lie and try, like, it's so Trump, it's like Trumpism, you guys, it's like this whole, um, gaslighting bullshit where they just fucking tell you, nope, you're re that's not reality, I'm gonna rewrite your reality right now, I'm gonna rewrite your reality right now and, um, lie to your face and tell you a completely different story of what fucking happened. <laughs> I'm just going to totally make up something completely different and tell it to your face. And I'm going to tell it to everybody who knows you. And I'm just going to rewrite fucking history. This is why, this is one of the reasons why the entire um, leadership of the Progressive Caucus needs to fucking turn over. Because that's been going on for years. For years. And this is why we couldn't get Bernie elected. We couldn't get him elected because uh, or at least in California, like they were expecting bigger results in California than that than what happened. Largest delegation of progressives in the country, and they are so fucking destructive. They're so destructive, and they've been hurting people for fucking years. Um, tearing people down for years and they're still doing it. They're still, they're proving to us again that here they are, they have their own problem that they need to atone for and they won't do it. They won't fucking do it because they're, they're still just trying to be like a uh, distraction. Just don't look at me and my problem. Look at, look over here instead. Look over here instead. Years, fucking years of such bullshit years of this they were expecting bigger results in california they didn't get them and it's because this is the culture of the progressive movement in california um i don't know how many of you who are you know like feeding into that bullshit network of of smear campaigns i don't know how many of you realize that the organizers um the bernie organizers from other parts of the country are well aware that Bernie hated coming to Los Angeles. <laughs> he hated, hated dealing with the LA crowd. I've heard that from several organizers across the country. He hated coming to LA. Um, I keep my eye on this story. Obviously, it doesn't, you know, it's... Bet I suppose it's slightly better that it wasn't a black man. I don't know that it's really any better if it was still it was still a person, and worse, it was a person of color. I don't know what that means or what the ethnicity or whatever. Somebody had thirty fucking rounds unloaded into their body yesterday on the beach. <laughs> 